Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to our celebration of the liturgy. No, your eyes are not deceiving you. I am not Mirella. Uh, Mirella has decided to take the day off, and uh, we are kind of feeling our way around a little bit, so give us um, some forgiveness if we do have some missteps this morning. We are an emergent church practicing an ancient faith in new ways, a church of inclusivity where all are welcome. Today we celebrate the baptism of the Lord. Baptism has always been a sign that you believe and follow the words of the baptizer. John is reluctant to baptize Jesus. He does not understand how he could baptize someone whose sandals he was not worthy to untie. But in being baptized by John, Jesus validates John's message of repentance and forgiveness. Our gathering song this morning is Ready the Way of the Lord. Ready the way of the Lord, a voice cries out in the wilderness, ready the way of the Lord. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, 
you are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the, Holy Spirit, Christ, with the Holy, Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Let us pray. God, our Father, your gift of water brings life and freshness to the earth. It washes away our sins and brings us to eternal life. We ask this, and we ask you through this holy water to give us your protection on this day, which you have made your own. Renew the living things, springs of life within us. Protect us in the spirit and body that we may be free from sin and come into your presence to receive your gift of salvation. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, O Jerusalem. Your light has come, and the glory of the Lord shines upon you. Behold, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you, Lord, the Lord shines, and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light, and kings to the shining radiance of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look about you. All gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters are carried in the arms of their mothers. Then you will look and be radiant. Your heart will throb and overflow with joy. The riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of the nations will be brought to you. Herds of camels will cover your land young camels of Midian and Ephah, and all from Sheba will come, bearing gold and frankincense, and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be Thanks. to God. Our responsorial psalm is, the Lord will bless his people with peace. Give to the Lord, you sons of God. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Adore the Lord in holy attire. The Lord, Lord will bless, bless his people with, with peace. peace. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The Lord over vast waters. The voice of the Lord is mighty. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The, the Lord, Lord will bless, bless his people, people with peace. peace. The God of glory thunders. And in his temple all say, Glory. The Lord is enthroned above the flood. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. The Lord, the Lord will bless, bless his people, people with peace. peace. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. I, Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus, for the benefit of the Gentiles, assuming, by the way, that you know that God entrusted to me the special responsibility of extending his grace to you, 
who are Gentiles. As I briefly wrote earlier, God himself revealed this mysterious plan to me. As you read what I have written, you will understand my insight into this plan regarding Christ. God did not reveal it to previous generations, but now, by His Spirit, has revealed it to His holy apostles and prophets. And God's plan is this, both Gentiles and Jews who believe the Gospel share equally in the riches inherited by all of God's children. Both are part of the same body, and both enjoy the promise of blessings because they belong to Christ Jesus. Hear what the Spirit says to the church. Thank you, Thank you God.
Good morning and Merry Christmas! Good morning. Merry Christmas. It kind of seems like a little bit of a chaotic message after the morning we started having today, but um, yes, you heard me correctly. I said Merry Christmas. You may be shaking your heads thinking I am delayed in my message, but today, my brothers and sisters, is the last day of the Christmas season. Some of you at home may be scratching your heads as you've probably already packed away your Christmas decorations and we have here at the church as well. And um, probably have put the holiday behind you. But according to the liturgical calendar, today is the final day. So when your friends get sad on the 26th that, the Christ that Christmas is over, tell them to come celebrate with us Catholics, where we keep the Christmas party going long after the 25th. And we have something particularly special on this last day of Christmas. We are celebrating the baptism of the Lord. The first two readings speak of the water of baptism. In the first re reading, Isaiah speaks of baptism well in advance of the institution of Christ, saying, When you pass through waters, I will be with you. Through rivers you shall not be swept away. And Peter talked about it in the second reading. You know the story yourselves, he says. It has been talked about in all the country of Judea. It began in the country of Galilee after the preaching of John the Baptist. God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. So let's talk about this baptism. Jesus was humbled and allowed himself to be baptized by his cousin, John the Baptist, in the Jordan River. And during the baptism, a miraculous event happens. The heavens opened. A voice came from heaven, in uniting Jesus and the Father and the Holy Spirit. That voice said, you are my beloved son. With you, I am well pleased. This is the manifestation of the whole Trinity. The voice of a father, the son incarnate being baptized, and the Holy Spirit comes down in the form of a dove. Baptism is the beginning of Christian life. It's the gateway to the other sacraments. And I imagine many of you were baptized as babies and don't recall the event of your baptism. But I remember mine. It was April 19, 2003. I climbed into a very large flower pot in the back of the sanctuary. And I felt the water being poured over me. It felt charged like it was, like it was electric current was running through it. And I felt peace that I had never felt before. I was now bonded with the Father, the Holy Spirit. But this is not just unique to me. Each and every one of us is bonded to the Father and the Holy Spirit during our baptisms. One year ago, nearly to the day, I became a deacon. And during Mass, I have the responsibility of setting the table so that the priest celebrant can consecrate the bread and the wine. During, or one thing you may have noticed the deacon do is we take some water and we mix it with the wine. If you haven't noticed this act, I'm sure you'll be looking for it in a few moments when we get to that part of the Mass. While the deacon is pouring the water into the wine, we say a prayer. Lord, by the mingling of the water with this wine, may we share in your divinity as you share with our humanity. The divine and the human are now bonded. The water is completely integrated with the wine. And that is the exact same thing that happens to us and to me, to me when we are baptized. And when, when we are bonded to Jesus during that baptism, we are then transformed. Transformed and given a brand new identity transformed into an, the image and likeness of God. Through the waters of baptism, we are completely transformed in the Holy Spirit. Today, on the feast of the baptism of the Lord, we thank God for the day of our baptism. 
On the day of our baptism, heaven was open to us, and we become beloved children of God. And as I mentioned, our baptism is just the beginning of our relationship with our Heavenly Father. Because without this relationship, we can become lost. Think about the times we became lost. Perhaps that's now. Perhaps that's today. Think about your current life situation. What are you holding in your heart? What is difficult for you? Do you have a problem that seems impossible to solve? Is there a weakness or a sin that you struggle with but it never seems to get better? Do you believe that Jesus is mightier than all these things? He really is. In his humility, Jesus is as immersed in your life and your difficulties as he was in the Jordan River but not as a critic or a judge. He is immersed in your weakness and your fragility, and he wants to carry your burdens with you. This would not be possible if you did not have a relationship with him. So tell Jesus about your troubles, but most of all, believe. Believe that nothing is impossible. For him. So in those moments of struggle, remember to listen for that voice in the quiet stillness of your hearts. We can hear that voice coming from heaven. You are my beloved son, and you I am well pleased. You are my beloved daughter, and you I am well pleased. And when we listen to our hearts, nothing is impossible. And that, my brothers and sisters, is the gospel of the Lord. Amen. Thanks, Amen. Amen. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. We will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom without no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken to the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge the baptism for forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. This is my, my son, the beloved, with whom I am well pleased. God's word has been proclaimed for us on the celebration of the Lord's baptism. Its teaching strengthens our hope in our God as we recall our needs for the church and the community, our prayer response is, Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. For a desire to be of service to others, baptism is a call to service. May we be faithful servants of the Lord, 
the people of God's holy covenant, who work for justice and peace in the world, we pray. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus hear our prayer. For acceptance and inclusion of others, the message of Scripture is that God has no favorites. May we learn from this teaching to be accepting and loving towards others, just as God first loved us, we pray. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. For a desire to be committed to the gospel, may the baptism of Jesus remind us of our own baptism and our promise to follow his way. Practicing the gospel in all that we say and do, we pray. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. For an open heart to God's will, John the Baptist longed for the coming of God's chosen one. May we be open to God's call made to us in our baptism, and may we respond in joyful obedience to what God requires of us, we pray. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. And now let us offer our own prayers out loud or in the silence of our hearts. We pray for this repose in the soul of and God, the mother of Mariah. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, hear our prayer. prayer. We'd also like to, to offer prayers of healing for Mother Diane, for Mary Ann, and for anyone who's suffering illness or melody at this, at this moment, and for everyone who is suffering from COVID. We pray. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Jesus hear, hear our prayer. prayer. And for all those intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, hear our prayer. God of everlasting glory, you have revealed Christ to be the light of the nations. Receive our prayers through Jesus, your Son, the manifestation of your love, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also, and also with you. you. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And also, and also with, with you. you. Let us offer each other a sign of our Lord's peace.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, your Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all God's church. Loving God, accept these gifts we now offer unto you, taken from the earth and transformed by human hands into bread and wine for this table. May these gifts be transformed by your Spirit into the presence of Christ. And may all those who receive these gifts be transformed into His image. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Father, we do it always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. In your great love, you chose for yourself the people of Israel and made that nation your own. You kept your promise to them and sent them a savior, a shepherd, and a ruler. The light of your love shone upon them, and over them appeared your glory. In the Magi, the nations began to walk by that light. You called your sons and daughters from the ends of the earth. In Christ Jesus, your son, Gentiles became co-heirs with the Jews, members of one body and sharers of one promise, born again together through the faith and baptism. He is your Son, the reflection of your glory, the fullness of your enduring love, the light that shines upon us all. Yet He is our brother, our priest, our prophet, and our king. Now with every nation on earth shall adore you with all your people throughout the world. We bless you every day. We join the, our voices with angels to sing your praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness. You have given us the wonders of this world, rivers and rain of water, the land, plants and trees for beauty and food, a choir of creatures to sing your praise. You created us for community and placed us in your garden to tend the earth and to be at home. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all grace and to goodness you have this bread to offer. Make them into your body and blood for our own sustenance. And we pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this 
in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Dying you destroyed our death, rising you restore our life. Lord Jesus, we pray to come in glory. Dying you destroyed our death, rising you restore our life. Lord Jesus, waiting for you to come in glory. Calling to mind the death your Son endured for our salvation, His glorious resurrection and ascension into heaven, and ready to greet Him when He comes again, we offer you this thanksgiving, the holy and living sacrifice. Grant that we who are nourished by His body and blood may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become one body in one spirit in Christ. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with all church leaders, especially Peter, our bishop, and all clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in hope of rising again. Bring then all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the prophet Isaiah, John the Baptist, Mark the Evangelist, the Apostle Peter, and all, all apostles, and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. Remember the Muslim people who have received with us the spiritual heritage of Abraham and Sarah. Remember to those who are Hindu brothers and sisters, the Sikh, the Buddhist faith, those of native religions as well, and all who seek truth, justice, and peace. May your grace pierce the veils that separate us. May the inspiration of your spirit make us one on the path of wisdom. And may the brilliant light of Christ lead us to discover your love in every human heart. Hear the prayers of the family you have gathered here before you today. In mercy and love, unite all your children with Mary, the Blessed Virgin, Mother of God, and all your saints who have done your will throughout the ages. Remember the souls of our dearly departed, especially the soul of Anne Boyle, the mother of Mariah. May, they, may their souls and the, all the souls faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in God's loving peace. Welcome into your kingdom. Those of our brothers and sisters who have left this world in your friendship. We hope to enjoy forever the vision of your glory to Christ our Lord, from whom all good things come. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory.
as brothers and sisters to one another. Let us all pray the beautiful prayer of unity. Our Give Father, it to us by our Lord Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. As a mother comforts her children, comfort us and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, deliver us from every evil and protect us from all fear as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior and brother, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom and the power, power and, and the glory are yours, now, now, now and forever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. This is Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who come to receive Him. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. For those of you that are watching at home, we share this prayer with you. This prayer is commonly used by those speaking or seeking spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the Blessed Sacrament of the Altar. I love you above all things, and long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
Let us pray. Loving God, may the Eucharist we have shared deepen our love for Jesus Christ, the light, the light to all nations and to one another. Nourished by his body and blood, may the radiant light of Jesus become manifest in our lives. And we pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May Almighty God bless us all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And we do have some announcements. Um, let's first start with uh, our regular announcement. My dear brothers and sisters, we at St. Matthew's want to express our heartfelt thanks for your continued support of our church and its ministry. As we continue to fulfill our mission of bringing the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world by offering everyone the opportunity to practice the Catholic faith with a clear conscience. Regardless of their marital status, sexual orientation, religious identity, or any other barrier that would exclude them from an opportunity to get and know, get to know and love our Lord. So please continue to give and support our church in whatever manner or amount you are able to do in these difficult times. Whether you are a member of our community or just someone who wants to support our cause, you can mail in your contribution or go to our website at www.saint-matthew.org and select the giving tab and follow the easy instructions on how to give. We appreciate all you do for us and any amount is helpful. And we'd like to thank all of you for sending in your pledge forms. It, we had an incredible response. Thank you all so very much. Uh, you, you continue to bless our church. So please continue to pray for all of us as we pray for you. Stay safe, stay connected, and above all else, stay prayerful. God bless you all. So a couple of uh, announcements. Uh, busy church. We uh, have Bible study that is going to be starting on January 25th, and that is going to be the study of Mark with uh, Mother Martha and uh, Father John. Um, every Wednesday, you are welcome to join us for uh, Rosary uh, on Zoom, so please uh, Prayer. If you would like to pray the rosary with us, it's at 5 p.m. on Wednesdays. Uh, Sunshine Club every Saturday uh, with Martha and Yeti at 11 o'clock. And Bertie, I don't want to leave out Bertie. She's absolutely wonderful as one of the teachers. Um, we also have food donations every week. So if you are at home and would like to bring food, you can bring it immediately following Mass. You can also get communion at that time as well if you'd like. Uh, am I missing anything else? There's one last announcement I would like to make, and that is tomorrow, our wonderful music minister has a birthday to celebrate. January 11th is Norella's birthday, so we'd like to say a happy birthday to her today. Happy birthday, Neves. And we can sing, but you've already heard our singing for today, and maybe you don't want to hear any more of it. <laughs> and we'd also just like to remind you that if you're going to bring food, there's a table outside, a giving table you can donations on there. They'll be out there every week. And we also, um, in response to uh, a lot of you have been asking us, when are we going to do our famous drawing again? Uh, we are doing a 2021 New Year resolution drawing. Um, we will be selling tickets beginning today. They're $50 for each ticket. Um, and then what we will do is beginning February 28th and every month thereafter, uh, we will take, uh, we will choose a, a ticket from out of there. Um, and that person will win $100. Their ticket will go back in uh, so that you can actually win multiple times. So a $50 ticket could win you $100 a month. Um, but it's a great way to give to our church uh, and a very good cause. So um, you can get tickets from either um, call the office, go to our website. There's a, a, an easy to follow instructions on there for how to purchase tickets on, on the web. Uh, or you can talk to Father Art, to myself, Deacon Tony, to um, Morella or to Jenny Guida, and also Mariah uh, is also selling tickets. Thank you so much. Here's a thought too, if $50 is a little tough right now, maybe split the ticket with a friend or a relative. Um, I always feel like that might be a little bit easier, but um, either way, support this really great um, fundraiser. All 
All right. Um, let us go forth now through the waters of baptism to share in God's love. This Mass has ended. Thanks be to Thanks God. Be to God.